Hi everyone, it's Nicole, also known as Continual Trends on Instagram and Poshmark. And today I am going to do a thrift haul of what I bought today to resell for profit. So, today it was a wild day um, because it was a blizzard out. I usually get to my thrift store right when it opens at 9, but I woke up to like five different messages from family members saying that the roads were really bad, school was canceled in the town that I go thrifting in um, because there's really no thrifts like in my area, so I go like 30 minutes away. Um, so I went at like 11.30. The roads were a lot better. On the way back, it was terrible, <laughs> but on the way there, it was fine. And I ended up getting a lot of great stuff. I think because of the weather, there really wasn't many people there. And even though they opened two hours ago, I'm just assuming most people didn't make it there right at opening because of the weather. So I got a lot. Um, I ended up spending a little over $100. And I think I have a pair of shoes that I will make that back on. At least, if not one pair, then like two will definitely cover it. And then everything else will be profit. Um, and I got mostly shoes, so I'm going to start with the clothes. The first thing I got are these Torrid Boyfriend jeans. They're size 12. Um, Torrid's a plus-sized store. And they really have, like, trendy styles. Um, we had, I don't know if we even have a Torrid in our store, um, in our, like, mall anymore. Um, we had it for like maybe a few years if they are even still there but they're really nice good quality um, so those are good finds I got two of these I feel like most people don't know about this brand it's called feed me fight me and I noticed them right away because of the print um, they're really known for CrossFit um, or people that work out a lot I worked at a gym, um, then I do go to the gym, so I've seen people wearing these, and they do retail for kind of a lot, um, I think you can sell them, depending on the print, some prints, like, people actually really, really like, these are just sprinkles, and I got two of the same ones, and they're both, like, new, and they're both size medium, so I don't know, I'll probably list them, and see if I can get, like, 15, 25 dollars, something around there, um, these I've never picked up before, but I picked up the brand. It's Spanx. And I've sold their leggings before. Um, I've sold a few pairs, and some were up to like $80. So I saw these, and I know that they're like known for their quality. Their leggings really, really suck you in, so I'm assuming these will too. They're like, I don't know, it's like tummy control and then shorts. But the shorts really aren't that thick as the stomach is so I think it's just like a tummy control type of thing I don't really know so I'll google it and see what comes up I mean it looks new they're size medium but they look so small so they must really work um and I only went in that section because I found these which are the Spanx leggings they're new with tags these are like cropped leggings And they're just size small black um, I would say they're like ankle someone cut the tag so I don't know what they are shaping compression crop is what it says um, but if you are interested in any of these items you can find them on Poshmark if you don't have Poshmark um, I have a invite code continual trends for a free $10 if you sign up and um, also, if I haven't listed it yet, you can just message me on, like, Instagram, and I could probably ship it at PayPal, or I think PayPal would be the best way, like, probably cheaper shipping. Um, next item, it's, oh, what is that? Like a piece of thin something. Um, it says, Adventure Waits in Malibu, California, and it's a bomber jacket by Kendall and Kylie. So they actually have two different brands. Their upper level, like higher end brand has a plus size or a plus sign in the middle. This has like an and sign. Um, so it's like their one that was sold like in PacSun and different stores in the mall. Um, 
this is so nice. I thought it was a nice bomber jacket. It's like satiny. It says Malibu on the front. It's extra small, but I mean, it could fit. It's definitely supposed to fit oversized then because it would fit me. So I'd say it could fit like um, a small or even a medium. But I'll have measurements on that. Next, I got these American Eagle Outfitter jeans. I don't always pick them up. Um, I like the brand to wear personally. I grabbed them because they're size 12 and they are the high rise jegging. They're just like a charcoal gray color. And I, are they cropped? I don't know. Someone folded them up, but they can fold down. So those are nice. The next, I got three pairs of these. Um, they're all slightly different. They're all the same size. I saw them last week, but my store does half off day every week on all colors except one. And the one that isn't on sale is like the color that they're putting out while they have the sale and like during that week. So that way everything can be in the store at least a week before it goes on sale. Um, so I saw these last week. The value, like the resale value on Miss Me Jeans has gone down. I remember I used to be able to sell them for like 45 Some people even sold them for like $50 before. Um, that does not really happen for me much anymore, but it's still a good profit. Um, they're known for like their blingy pockets. That's their main logo. And then Miss Me. And all three pairs are 27 and they're all boot cut. Which is nice for this brand. I know a lot of other people like to pick up skinny jeans, which I've picked these up in skinny jeans too. And every time I've had Miss Me in skinny jeans, they've sat for a longer time. So I think people that buy like this brand usually like wear boots or want like a boot cut. So these also have, I don't know what, that is a shape. I don't know what that's called though. Um, and then, like these ones just these ones aren't as blingy but they're still blingy and stitched so oh these have a little distressing too on the front and they are the signature boot all twi size 27 so those will be easy to list maybe someone will bundle them so i kind of like that they're all the same size i got this because it's new with tags but i might try it on first i've kind of wanted I don't know I've wanted one but not like exactly like this I've wanted a shirt that has like mesh sleeves it's American Eagle nothing fancy but it's new and it has these sleeves so I'll try it on and if I don't like it up it'll go this is one of those brands I don't normally pick up and it needs a lint roll <laughs> like real bad but it's not a bomber jacket like it looks like a bomber jacket but if you feel it, it's more like, it's better quality. Um, I don't know what this is called. It's like a thicker material as if it's like a utility jacket. And it's just black and it's Brandy Melville. Um, they're known for like their one size fits all clothing brand. It's trendy. Um, I would say it would fit like a small slash medium, but it definitely needs a lint roll and then it'll be good to go. Um, I never really look through the purses, but they're right by the shoes. And I grabbed this. I don't know if it's real, to be honest with you. I'm really not good at, it has like Michael Kors on that too. Um, identifying that stuff, but it says Michael Kors on all the zippers. And my mom has a few and my sister does too. So I think it is, um, I'll have them look at it and compare, but I think it really is. I think it's just like dirty. Obviously someone used it and it's a brand that is really popular in my town. Like everyone loves Michael Kors purses and watches. So I wouldn't be surprised. It's definitely like in okay condition. I don't know if you can tell, but like the handle is like cracked a lot. There's like a lips, I can probably get that off. That's like lipstick stain. 
Um, but like the bag, like the exterior of the bag really isn't that bad of condition. And I think I can clean it up. And if for some reason, what is that? There's like wax on it or something. I don't know what that is. Um, but if I like for some reason find out like it's not real, I'll just give it to my um, sister or something. But it also does have the crossbody like and it can be detached. So that's really nice. I was really shocked to find it there because I never really find any purses, like I said. And if I do, they, I'm really shocked they didn't put that on the counter because like our thrift store, like we don't really get expensive brands. And if they do, typically they would notice something like Michael Kors they have put up on the side or something has a price tag on it. Like I remember once, they had like JC Penney shoes, but like they had an original price tag of like $60. So they were trying to sell them for like $40. Um, and it's weird because I've seen them put like Michael Kors shoes up on the counter um, and price them higher, but I don't know how they missed that. But that was pretty fairly priced. Um, talking about not knowing of authentic stuff. I think this is real. I'm going to find out, so don't worry. Um, it is Max Mara. It says made in Italy. It's obviously a vintage coat. I've seen some similar online, but look how long it is. I don't know if I can even show you. It's like a pea coat. Um, I don't know what I'll do with this. I'm considering just sending it to like Thread Up or The Real Real, which is a consignment. Um, because I don't sell higher end items like this. I will try, of course, um, but it does have all the good, the tags on the inside, um, looks pretty good. There's like a lining that says Max Mara all over it, which is really good. Um, it says it is 90% virgin wool, 10% cashmere, so I'm really happy with it. I'm, it does have some ripping up here but it's just the lining it's not like the actual coat like you wouldn't know when you're wearing it and it does need to be lint rolled but it's just like a button down um a lovely jacket does it say a size i just had this i'm sorry um i don't know where that went it's right here yeah so these are like the tags and it says I don't know what these someone wrote their name on it professionally drag queen on the where is the size on this thing oh my goodness I don't know it says 46 USA 12 here it is okay it's a USA 12 this you're not even being able to see this but yeah it says like all the details on it and it says 12 on it so I will find a way to get this like authenticated. I think it's real. So that's all for clothing. Now we're getting to shoes. I will start with the smallest little shoes, little Sorel booties. I love Sorel. Um, I don't pick up kids items like fairly ever unless it's like Sorel or Patagonia. Um, and these are Sorel and they were half off and they are a size. That makes no sense. It says it's a size nine. I didn't know kids went up to nine. I don't know kids sizes. It says a size nine. Um, I was thinking of say like a two because these are so small. So I'll look into that, but it's what it says. If you can see it, which maybe you can't. I don't know. But they're cute. They're like black and blue. I feel like they could be unisex because they're just black and blue. Um, really cute. Sorrel's a great brand for winter. My mom has a pair. Um, the next shoes are Lucky Brands. I don't know how to show you that. They're like Lucky Brand. I'll just do one. Zip up ankle booties. They kind of have some wear. Um, 
but I feel like some of it is actually meant to be because at first I thought they were scuffed like black but if you look it's kind of throughout the whole shoe and the inside looks good um they're a size eight and a half leather upper so they look pretty nice These are Adidas Gazelle. I saw them last week, so kind of shocked they were. I'm telling you, everything that I saw last week were, was still there. I think the snowstorm really like discouraged a lot of people from going out, and also they canceled school, so maybe people that would have went that had like instead had to stay home with their kids or didn't want to drive with their kids, which I could totally see. Um, everything was really still there, so these definitely need a cleaning i think i'm just gonna take a magic eraser that's like the least favorite thing i like to do <laughs> is clean shoes or really any thing i buy i try to buy things in like good condition um but these are in good condition they just need to be like wiped down on the white part and they just are adidas size six and a half so i'm assuming like a men's six and a half which I'd have to see what that is. I know a boy's six is a size eight because I bought, I don't know though. Adidas to me runs big because I'll have to look it up because um, I bought Adidas for myself and I think I got a size six boys to fit my size eight foot. I don't really know if this is a great brand, but these, I saw them last week and I just could not leave them. They're super cute. They have this, which I'm pretty sure I can get off. If not, it really isn't a huge deal to me. It has this like cutout detail and the brand is, oh, I don't know if you'll see it cause it's purple. It's Blowfish. It doesn't say on the bottom either. Um, they are a size, what does that say? They're a eight and a half. Really cute. Um, and they have like the zipper detail. Oh, and it says Blowfish there. So their brand Blowfish, I'll have to look them up. I just thought the style and like the buckling detail was really, really nice. And the quality, um, it has this like patch that usually means that they're they have leather soles, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to look. I don't know, I've heard someone talk about this and usually if you find a shoe with this, it just means like it's well made. Um, so I took a chance on them. Wasn't really that big of a gamble. What are these? These are Simply Vera by Vera Wang. They are a size six. What's it gonna say? Oh, and they have some leather. It says they're made of man-made leather. Oh, okay. So they have this um, buckle detail. They're like ankle booties. And the zipper is actually like on the outside, which is different. Usually it's on the inner side of the shoe. And they're just like a nice brown. They're really cute. <laughs> I normally wouldn't grab these, but I did because they were on sale. They're coach shoes. They're just kind of like kitten heeled, um, strappy heels. And they kind of have like a metallic look. They do have, they're nine and a half. Um, I don't know what that is. I think like a water stain here. I'm going to see if I can clean it. Um, okay, this is that sign I was talking about. That's not the price I paid. Um, that label usually means just like made with good quality. There's a real meaning behind it, but usually if you see that when shopping, like maybe look up the brand or like take an actual look at the shoe. Um, usually could mean something. What are these? Told you I got a lot of shoes. See, and these shoes also have that label. So it's usually just a label I look for. 
Um, these are Dulce Vitas. I thought they were cool because they're kind of like a slide-on booty. Like, I don't know what these are called because I don't think they're technically an ankle boot because they don't cover your ankle. <laughs> um, they are a size nine and they just have like this beautiful braided detail on the heel. Pretty good condition. They're backwards. So I picked them up. Like I said, I don't like cleaning a lot of shoes. So when I find shoes in good condition, I will almost always, like if they're a good brand and they're in good condition, I'll pick them up. Um, and if they're a good brand and like they are in great condition, I probably won't pick them up. So I'm sure many people know of this. They're dance goes. They were there last week and I was actually going to get them, but I was like, mm. I think I'll wait and see if they're on sale. And I'm shocked they were still there because the store is right by a hospital. So you would think like nurses might want these. They are a size 42. I'd have to try to find out what that equivalates to. Um, yeah, cause it doesn't say, it just says 42. And they're just like the standard shoe, but they look pretty good, pretty nice condition no scuffs um i'll just kind of wipe them down before i list them these i also need to wipe down before i list them they are converse i thought they were interesting converse because they're not like the typical material they're a lot thicker like look how thick these are um i don't know i thought they were worth a gamble they are a size eight they're big for an eight I don't know it's what they say it's a size 8 they have a little logo there and they're kind of like um a canvas I just need to clean them up and I don't know they're kind of like an off black they're a little more like a charcoal gray color but those are them all right we're getting down to the last few pairs so at the beginning of the video I said there are a few pairs of shoes that could pay for the entire haul. Um, I'm like, like these are probably my top three, but my last ones are definitely my favorite. Um, these are Mark Fisher heels. I love Mark Fisher. They're great quality. I have a pair of combat boots that are by Mark Fisher. Um, these are kind of like platformed. They have a little wood platform and a wooden heel and they are pretty tall. What are their size? What is they are a nine and a half. So I thought they were nice. They're kind of like um they're like a a wood brown color, like you know how it has like the orangey tint to it. Really nice. If you know how to walk in heels, they're really cute. These are Lauren Ralph Lauren. I did not look these up yet, but I knew right away that they were really great quality shoe and then when I saw they were um Lauren Ralph Lauren which is the woman's line of Ralph Lauren um they also have like the polo brand says they are the Casey style I have to look them up they're a size nine in their leather and I feel like these um are like a suede and then it has the buckling detail I mean, they're in like perfect condition. They're so nice. Um, I did pay full price for these because I just knew they were good quality. So happy with those. I can't wait to look those up. Last but not least, these I found right away. I always go to the shoes first. Um, I just think they're easier to list, easier to notice if there's flaws because sometimes when you come home with clothing, you can find small holes. I feel like it's easier to kind of look over a shoe and the sizing's a lot better. People may not want to buy like a dress because they want to try it on, but shoes, people typically know their shoe size, especially if they've already purchased that brand. So these are dark Doc Martens. And I did look these up. These are the Triumphs. Um, they fold down and these are like plaid lines they're so nice and they even can stay folded down so they can have like they have a little buckle here 
you could wear them higher, which I would wear. That would be like halfway up my shin. Super cute. I don't even know what size these are. Couldn't tell you. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Sorry. They are a size. Ooh, they're my size. They're size eight. <laughs> I will not keep them. I will sell them. So these are them. They're in great condition. Um, I mean, if they were worn, whoever kept them, they had them in excellent condition. I mean, the soles don't even look used. I'm in awe that I found them. I'm kind of shocked that no one knew and like put them on the counter, which is where they put like their higher end items. But I feel like most people think of the standard Doc Martens and since they were kind of like pulled down, no one really looked at them. And like I said, I got there at 11. Um, they weren't half off, so maybe they were putting them out today. But I'm just very happy I found those. So that is everything I got today. Um, I didn't count how many items I got. But like I said, I probably will get my return on investment with just these um if not then like those and anything else so i'm pretty happy with it that is my little thrift haul i hope you enjoyed i will be putting out more videos i might be doing these weekly um i have a few upcoming unboxing videos that i'm really excited about so stay tuned and thanks for watching bye